If you look at the enterprise landscape itself, there's a range of programs available for individuals to go to, to get inspired about what is an enterprise or what is a business, what is a startup. If you want on the other end some kind of a grant to actually run for your business, it's there. But what was missing, especially from a social enterprise point of view, was it's not just the money I need. I want to really be able to have the skills and the tools and actually the mindset of an entrepreneur, but a social entrepreneur. So the goal of the Social Ventures Incubator program was to target specific people who were already ready to enter this market. They knew what they were looking for, but they didn't know how to make it happen. The Catalyst Collaborative is a space and place where we make business happen. There was a lot of co-working spaces in Adelaide and we wanted to actually, of course, be unique and different in that regard. Our goal is to help our community members start and grow their businesses with whatever resources that we have. Because we've been working around uh, social entrepreneurship, uh, we know that validating your idea and learning from others is a really important way of fine-tuning the venture, uh, but also fine-tuning the outcomes that you want. We probably learned a lot more than we actually expected and anticipated uh, from the whole program, and it helped us benchmark and test and validate our assumptions in a structured format. Bike Kitchen was originally established in 2012. So essentially it's a workshop where people learn how to fix their own bikes. And they're generally volunteer run and definitely have a community base to them. So they're community builders as well as bike builders. And yeah, it's just getting bigger and bigger. Social Ventures was definitely a success for Bike Kitchen. We approached it as an opportunity for us to see what we're currently doing, if we're doing things right, and perhaps how we can improve things. And we got information like that back to, to sort of support what we're doing, which was really important for us and for our morale. In addition to that, we've sort of worked out different potential income generators, which we hadn't even thought about before. And as a result of Social Ventures, we've worked out that you can you can make money in such a way that you don't fall down on your, your morals. So it's helped us on pretty much all our levels as well. And how we interact as a, as a committee has been improved, which is, yeah, it's really great. City Council, by putting it out there, has changed the way people look at social ventures in Adelaide and the rest of the country. By actually enabling new startups, new businesses, but also with a well-being and social focus, we start to see some amazing benefits. You start to attack this uh, key strategic criteria that the council is working on, and how do you make environmentally friendly, how do you build smart cities, how do you have community well-being, how do you have older people living better, how do we have more people in the city having a better life. All of these were actually targeted by startups. So overall, it actually is a big plus for the council because it helps what the council is driving, but also potentially it is actually creating more jobs to the economy and more people who can more confidently start new businesses.